Welcome to Main Street Mondays. I'm Sarah Grunewald, Executive Director of Main Street Washington. And today I want to welcome Tony Whittle and the City Point Church to our next episode. Welcome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me. This is so fun to be able to yeah. do this. We love Washington, Iowa, and I'm just really so honored to be able to have this conversation with you Excellent. today. Excellent. Well, let's talk a little bit about your relationship with Washington and your history with our community. Yeah, I, well, it was crazy enough, right out of college, mm -hmm. which is now starting to be a few years ago for mm -hmm. me, even though I'm young, Sarah, mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago, uh, me and my wife, we moved here, uh, got married here in okay. town at, uh, at Faith Baptist Church, just on the west end of town. And I started working there as a youth pastor and I was there um, here in Washington for seven years mm -hmm. before we then moved away to Ottumwa, where we really got educated on what it looks like to start a new church mm -hmm. from scratch. And uh, so we spent a year and a half away from Washington mm -hmm. and then we just couldn't help but come back. And we yeah. loved the people, loved the community, and there mm -hmm. was just a lot of friends of mine that, uh, that we wanted to come back and create a church Good. for. That's Fantastic, because we did miss you guys when you left. I know yeah, Carrie, right. <laughs> Carrie was a wonderful volunteer for me, and it was very sad to see you guys Funny leave. Enough, and that is like the, that is what I hear is like, yeah, we missed you, especially Carrie. It's like, yeah, we, <laughs> well, we missed you too, but yeah, you know. that's right. But so let's talk a little bit about where the vision for City Point came from and how you guys got your feet under you. Yeah, great question, actually. Um, faith and Christianity is not really a part of my entire life. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I didn't grow up going to church. I uh, didn't, I don't, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a religious background. Mm -hmm. And it was late in high school when I was first told about, uh, you know, church and Jesus and Christianity, mm -hmm. and it changed my life. And I never forgot really what it's like to, to be somebody who doesn't have faith. Mm -hmm. And here I am, you know, forgive me for this terminology, but ha having a career doing church mm -hmm. as a pastor. And I started to have what I call a holy discontent. Mm -hmm. And there was no knock against any other church. And actually, I am so just honored to be a part of such a great, a really faith community. Mm -hmm. And it's just so special. But I wanted to create a church that unchurched people mm -hmm. would actually like to attend because sure. that was who I was. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know uh, the Bible stories. And so hearing a pastor or a communicator talk about them, they'd almost have to do it in a way that would make sense for me who didn't grow up going to church. Sure. Uh, music that would make sense for somebody who never sang hymns before. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so really this birth with inside of me, this belief that I think there's other people who are like me mm -hmm. that want to have a spiritual encounter with God. Sure. That are curious about faith and Christianity and yet maybe what is traditional just doesn't click as much because they're just not used to it. And so we just decided that we want to be a no matter church sure. that says it doesn't matter who you are, where you've been, what you've done or what's been done to you. You're welcome right here at City Point. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just going to create a church that unchurch people actually like to attend sure and so that was kind of so our tell everybody a little bit about where you're located currently with the church because this yeah. is your office yeah welcome yeah right downtown and right. uh which is so fun so we we office during the week uh here at this i, I don't know do they call this a storefront or is it just yeah. a okay yep, the, right downtown. the storefront and and it's on the north side of the town square and it's beautiful views of the town square um, and so we operate here throughout the week and it works well for our staff. We have you know, not a big staff, but a, a medium sized mm -hmm. staff, a handful of full time employees and part time employees and and uh, that just really do a great job. But then what is unique about us is we actually partner with the Washington uh, school, mm -hmm. uh, the high school, and we rent out you know, pretty much the entire high school on Sunday mornings. Uh, yeah, so, and you guys work with the Washington Area Performing Arts Center too, because yes, that's where your yep. sanctuary space, so to speak, is. Yeah, yeah, we, we have the theater, and mm -hmm. that's funny that you said it too, because we've we've had people ask like, "Where's your sanctuary?" And we go, "I don't even. What are you talking about? Sanctuary? It's a theater to us, right. just because that's what it is." And uh, but yes, so that was oh my goodness, the mere fact that that got built mm -hmm. a year after we started, we got to move from the junior high gym okay. of the high school mm -hmm. or the junior high, and get to transfer into this state-of-the-art mm -hmm. uh, facility was unbelievable. And and so, yes, we get there really early in the morning at 5.30, mm -hmm. and we, it's just, it's it's a total transformation of the mm -hmm. space, and we have two services, one's at nine, and then we have the same identical service at 10.45, and then after the service, we have a team that comes and 
puts it all away mm -hmm. and the school, you know, kicks back into operation. And it's just a great relationship so far. And mm -hmm. we've just been, yeah, I don't know, the school district has been awesome and mm -hmm. it's been a great partnership. So we, we have a long, kind of a long-term relationship lease mm -hmm. with them and it was working and well. let's talk about your downtown space because i know when you guys moved in here you're like oh sarah you're gonna be mad at me because i'm taking a store to run <laughs> yes. and my question to you was something along the lines of when are you going to be open yeah you know what are you going to do in that space and your answer was perfect so yeah. i'm not mad at you no okay, well thank you <laughs> you know what that was it was an interesting thing i was just telling um another community leader that it's fascinating when you grow to um when you're not from a small town, mm -hmm. but now you're so immersed in it, what you really want to see happen is the economic, everything mm -hmm. thrive. And so really my first response was, I, geez, I don't want to take up a downtown real estate where we could put something in here that would drive just engagement downtown. And I just want to make sure that mm -hmm. was okay with you. And, and you're right, you said, well, what are you going to do? And I was like, oh, well, we're going to fill it up. I was mm -hmm. like, there's going to be people down here every single night of the week. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to have kids running in the back with mom and dad meeting up front, you know, hanging out, doing studies and just, you know, drinking coffee, enjoying mm -hmm. each other's companies. And, uh, and then we're going to have our staff in here all day long. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have, you know, normal offices, seven in the morning till 530 mm -hmm. at night. And then we'll have groups here in the evenings. And, and, uh, and it was just kind of a neat, I, yeah, you just said it, it's kind of like, as long as you promise that you're actually going to bring people downtown, I said, right. well, I promise you that. We're going to have people here every single night of the week. Yeah, and you want the lights on, you want the engagement, yeah. you want people spending money in the coffee shops That's and right. doing things and going around and, and doing things. And you were like, yep, we're going to program it. We're, we're going to do that. And so. It works out really well, actually. And it's been perfect because it's amazing how much foot traction that, that we get just by being now present now mm -hmm. we have a sign people even know that we exist so it's right. just kind of fun to see so yeah. if um let's talk about a goal you yeah know, next five years what do you guys see for city point do you see <sighs> great question yeah we, we do this all the time mm -hmm. um so we've in our industry being in church mm -hmm. we've already blown a lot of the initial goals that we would have set out for okay. And uh, so we really believe that God has had his hand on what we've been doing. And so Sunday mornings, mm -hmm. for instance, we're already bigger mm -hmm. in attendance than I ever would have dreamt to be. Uh, last Sunday, we had 570 people show up to City Point. I'm, I'm still at the spot going, oh my goodness. I, did not, I didn't anticipate that. Quite honestly, we didn't even plan for it. And yet mm -hmm. there is a need that's being met, and, and, uh, which is shaping our goals. Mm -hmm because we're learning something about small towns mm -hmm. that maybe small towns um, across the state mm -hmm. might, be, might be curious or might be hungry for um, another style of church to be done in their town. And so right now, one of our goals is not only to continue to, you know, <laughs> to reach Washington County mm -hmm. uh, for Jesus, that's really as simply as we can put our mission statement is we exist to point people to Jesus right here. Mm -hmm. But now we're having conversations with neighboring communities, mm -hmm. Sigourney mm -hmm. and Williamsburg and other towns that are a little bit smaller that we would just say are drive by towns. Mm -hmm. And no offense to Sigourney people who are listening or anybody else, but we go, maybe there's something that's happening here mm -hmm. that could be replicated, reproduced in another mm -hmm. town, and uh, maybe the story that's being written in Washington, Iowa, is supposed to be shared mm -hmm. um, throughout Iowa. And so we're, we're really actually starting to plan and aggressively look at how do we continue to thrive here mm -hmm. and be a blessing to this very community and serve and give and all the right things. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do we also do that in, in other in, places? Yep, it's a strategy that's actually called multi-site for us, one church, that exists in multiple locations. So sure. more information that you maybe care to know. Yeah. But there yeah. you go. There's the, and it's not a model that's foreign. I mean, yeah. you know, you look at, there's Catholic churches in Northern Wisconsin that they yeah. have one priest for four churches and they, that's right. they do services at different times. So if people want to learn more about City Point, if they want to find you guys, yeah. where do they find you? Yeah, so real simple. Our website is citypoint.cc, a little bit different. Dot com was taken, but dot <laughs> cc and uh, I think Quite honestly, I, you just got to check it out. Yeah. And so you just got to come and see for yourself. And so if, if somebody's ever free on a Sunday morning, I would just say, just give it a shot. Because more than likely you'll go, I, 
the responses that we, you got to be kidding me. This, mm -hmm. are, you, are you serious? This is, this is church. Mm -hmm. And we're going, yeah, it's, it's just done a little bit different in a way that works for people who maybe didn't go. And they can find you on Facebook. Yeah, I know that's, that's right. Sure. Yeah, that's sure. They have great content on their social media and their website. Yeah. So check them out. And uh, I want to thank you for your time today. Are you kidding it's me? Wonderful. Thank you so much for it's what you great. do. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week with another episode of Main Street Mondays. Again, like, share, and comment below Ooh. if there's a business or a community organization you want to see featured. That'd be good. See ya.